Let's take a look at reporting by activity. So to understand the data that you'll see when you click on one of these report links here, let's first remind ourselves of what it looks like when a student completes an activity. So this activity, uh, at the post 16, your next move, um, you'll see the usual things in here. So uh, videos for students to watch, infographics for them to read, uh, more information, some questions to answer, links to explore. You'll see some places like this with yes, no's, um, questions here about where students would like to study, uh, what type of qualification they'd like to study at 16, some more questions and a checklist down here as well things that they should be doing um, at that post-16 choice stage uh, and then right down at the bottom you will always get this same question which is a self-assessment question for a student against the learning objective of the activity and they'll answer yes no and they're important because they feed reports and then a student will click complete now let's head back to our reports so back in our reports page, let's find that activity. Um, so it's down here in the advanced level section, and it was this post 16, your next move. So click on report to view the data. What you'll notice is that you get some icons here to tell you which Gatsby benchmarks this particular activity and therefore your reporting data is linked to, as well as which of the positive skills from the CDI uh, framework for careers, the new one that's come out, which one that's linked to as well. Um, and then further down, you'll get some reporting components on the page. The first one is always student progress. And to see the data, I hit filter. And that brings up here that learning objective, that self-assessment question we were looking at. And you can see your data on screen there that students have answered it, three in total. And I can hit this export button here to export the data and view the information at student level. If you want to change a view, I can use these filters here. So look at it by year group, or I can choose any teaching groups that I may have populated as well to change the data. And each time I change those filters, I need to hit the filter button again to change the data below. Further down the page you'll notice as well this particular report has got some additional activity. Same principles apply. I hit the filter button and it'll bring up here some additional information from that activity. In this case I've got information here about where students might want to study, uh, the types of qualifications they might want to study as well. Again I get a summary on screen and if I hit export I'll get my data at a student level. And I can repeat that again for each of the additional detail pages. So hit filter, and in this case, I can see the results of that checklist that we were looking at as well. And once again, hit export to get your student data.